So a lot of you know that we love to combine biking and fly fishing. There are two big passions. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use some bike packing gear to carry all your fly fishing stuff for your next multi-sport adventure. So stay tuned. Welcome back Pathless Peddlers. And if you're new to the channel, if you're looking for information and inspiration on traveling with your bike, then definitely subscribe. This channel is for you. So as you know, we love to combine biking and fly fishing. There are two passions and we try to combine them as much as possible. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to roll up all your fly fishing gear and put it on some bike packing gear so you can get further down the trail and really find those fish that haven't seen a ton of pressure. So specifically in this video, I'm gonna be using the uh, handlebar harness system by Blackburn. It's part of their whole Outpost uh, collection that we got to play with at the Ramble Ride. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. It's, it was a crazy event, super fun, and very entertaining video. This handlebar harness system works fairly similar to other ones. A couple interesting uh, points specific to the Blackburn one is it has a quick release and kind of like these hard plastic uh, mounting points to the handlebar. Uh, they don't use uh, foam spacers like the older style handlebar bags but instead some, some rigid plastic mounts. So to be perfectly honest, at first I wasn't a big fan of this mounting system because it just seemed like one more thing to break. But having used it on the Ramble Ride and most recently putting it on our mountain bikes, I totally appreciate how the mount pushes out the bag so you don't have to kind of thread a big uh, roll between all your cabling. So it makes it really easy to use uh, a bag up front without crushing your cables or kinking them in any strange way. And of course, one of the advantages of a harness mount system, as opposed to just a, a pure dry bag, is that you can put whatever you want in the harness as long as it fits. So I'm gonna show you what we would take or what we're actually gonna take this week uh, as kind of a proof of concept using uh, the bike packing gear and the fly fishing gear. First off, I'm using some Reddington uh, lightweight wading pants. So they're like waders, but they don't have the chest section. So it just means that they can compress that much more. And instead of boots, I'm actually going to use these cleated sandals by Sims. Uh, if you don't have those, Crocs work fine depending on the surface of the river. Or you could go to a used gear store, find some oversized Keens and put some cleats that way, giving you an ultra light and ultra packable uh, wading option. The big trick, of course, is you want to size up whatever uh, wading shoe option you have so it works with the neoprene booty of your waders. So taking the lightweight wading pants and uh, whatever shoe I'm going to use, I put my fly rod uh, in the middle and kind of roll it up as a big burrito. This works best if you've got a smaller travel fly rod, but it's also acceptable with even like a three piece rod. So once you have it all rolled up, simply put it in the harness and use the straps to tie it down. For other fly fishing gear like uh, tippet and the hemostat and flies, I'm probably gonna just wear a small hip bag, something like this North Street bag and keep it around my waist. So this is a setup that I'm going to be using uh, this week. We're actually going out to Oak Ridge, Oregon to do a little bike fishing in the area, uh, fish some small water up there for some trout. And uh, I'm gonna do a follow up video to let you guys know how it all works out. But I'm feeling pretty good about this. Uh, mounted on the bike, uh, rode around the block a couple times, uh, went off a couple curbs, and it looks like it's gonna do okay. So if you've got fly fishing gear, and if you've got bike packing gear, and have never thought to put it together, well, this is uh, definitely a cool way to do it. It'll get you further down that dirt road, uh, that four x four Jeep trail, or that single track trail to get those fish. And if you're not a fly fisherman already, uh, but you've got the bike packing gear, this is a, another extra fun way to use the bike packing gear that you already have. So I think that's it for this video. I'm gonna do a follow up video and we'll probably do a Pathless Pedal and Travels video so you can actually see how all this stuff works in action. So definitely stay tuned for those. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, consider being a microfunder and supporting more original bikey content. I can guarantee that there's no other YouTube channel uh, that's, com that's actively combining uh, fly fishing and biking all the time like we do. So if you like goofy kind of niche content like this, uh, then check out the, the microfunding link below. Uh, consider subscribing and thanks for watching.